Hello art people, we are working on our clay totem poles lesson here and as you can see we are on this step down here, step 13, where we are going to be glazing our artwork. So let's have a quick review here. What is carving? That was our vocabulary for this. What is carving? It is the process whereby the artist takes away some of the material to make their designs or images. So we did it with clay. This is, can also be done for totem poles, which is obviously what we're focusing on for this lesson is totem poles. So um, people would carve and still do carve wood um, to make totem poles. We're carving clay though. All right. And who is Keith Wolf? He was obviously our artist for this lesson, our artist inspiration. Who can tell me about Keith Wolf? He was a totem pole carver. All right. And let's look at some examples for totem poles. Okay, now let me tell you a little bit about glaze. So this is what glaze looks like. This is the bottle that it comes in. This is what we've got here. We've got a bunch of different colors in these Saks True Flow. This is the brand we're doing. It's glaze. It's, it's paint, but it's special paint for clay projects okay special paint for clay for clay projects and the color changes in the kiln that is a kiln right here i've got one in the back of my room glaze sticks to the kiln shelf so don't glaze the bottom in the kiln there are shelves that we put in as art teachers and we put your projects on the shelves but they get stuck on the shelves if you glaze the bottom so don't do that Glaze changes color in the kiln. So after you guys glaze these with the special glaze, as in paint them with the special glaze, I'm gonna put them back in the kiln and then the special paint will change colors, okay? So it will look very light, like on the left side of all of these. And then when it's in the kiln, it will turn bright. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So we are going to go ahead and get your totem pole zoom in a little bit okay we've got our totem pole here and go ahead and think about the first color you're going to want to use okay think about what color you want to use first now look for it on the red tray where the glaze is and then you can go ahead and get it get it out I think I'm going to start with um, true red Okay, got your bottle. Okay, now twist it open. Like so. And look at it to determine if it's ready to paint. What do you guys think about this one? This one's not ready to paint. It's very dry and weird. So I'm going to twist it and shake it. If yours is dry and weird, twist it and shake it. If yours is watery, if there's a bunch of water at the top of yours, put the lid back on and shake it. Okay, open it back up and look that's a lot better there we can just go inside this one this doesn't usually happen this is kind of strange I'm just gonna push this down with my paintbrush like that there we go and anytime you're pausing using a paintbrush you just put it in the water and now I'm gonna shake it up again yours probably didn't have that that was kind of a weird thing okay so this is what it will look like when it's ready to use. I'll show you. Ta-da! And yours might look perfect already because maybe a kid in the class before you already shook this up and got it ready for you. Who knows? I'm going to show you. Sometimes they're so dried out that you can't do anything about it. Look at that. Super dried out. If you shake this, nothing's going to happen. What you need to do, if you wanted to use a color that is so dried up you can't use it, you're going to order that color. Take your rainbow card. Put it in the front and then put your clothespin on that color and I will take care of it for you. I'll bring you a new yellow or I'll take this and fix it for you and bring it back. Okay, so remember you can order colors with your rainbow card. Okay, so I want to remind you of that. Also, I want to remind you, if your paint water is super, super, super dirty, you can order fresh water by going to this color this card it's light blue may i please have some clean paint water and i will come up and i will i will bring you clean paint water okay unless i am like that's not very dirty paint water is going to be a little dirty but if it's super dirty then i will give you clean paint water okay 
now that I've explained all that, we should all have a color that we want. I said I was going to start with red. Okay. Now, um, go ahead and grab a paintbrush. Good. Dip your paintbrush in the red and start painting like this. We're painting. Just paint. You can just paint around your animals for right now. We're just going to paint around our animals. Okay. Now, after we paint for a little while, look how thin I'm painting that. See how it's thin? You need to be spreading it out like I'm spreading mine out. Got to spread it out. And we just dip right into the container. Like that. Just spread it out. Okay, good. If you spread it out really thin, then what's really cool about glaze is it will be very dry, very fast, which is great because with this glaze, with all glaze, you have to do a lot of layers. So a lot of thin layers. So a layer is just going on top of it. So you go on top of it. Okay. Okay. I'll go ahead and turn some music on and you guys can get to work. We're working on our first color so far. Okay, so you're probably about done with the first layer of your first color. So now we are gonna go ahead and do our second layer of our first color. So I'm doing this red here. I'm gonna go over all of my red again to do my second layer. So let's all do our second layer together. Okay, so you've probably finished your second layer of that color. So now we're gonna do our third layer of this color and then we're gonna be allowed to switch colors. Okay, let's go ahead and switch colors now. So you're gonna take your brush, set it in the water, 
get the lid to this color, twist it back on, and put it back in the red tray. Think about the next color that you want to use. I think I'm going to use this purple next. Let's go to our slide here. So this is the Wisteria purple here. I also have this sheet as well. Let me just zoom out here. Make this smaller for you. So we can look at this as well to see what our colors are going to be like after the kiln. So I want this purple here. And you might think, uh, it doesn't look like you have that color. Look, all of these are very light colors, Miss McFarland. None of those are bright purple like that. Well, it's actually this one here. And I can tell because I'm matching up the name. So this is Wisteria Purple and this is Wisteria Purple. So yeah, it looks really different here, right? But it's supposed to turn out like this when we're done. Okay, so it's going to be something like this or it can turn out to be something like this as well. So it might be a little bit lighter too. this purple over here. So it kind of just all depends on how the kiln firing goes, but just know that it will be brighter than this. And also this is all going to be super duper shiny as well. Okay, so let's pick out our second color, open it up. Okay, mine looks good to go. If yours is not good to go, you can shake it up. If shaking it up doesn't help it, order yourself that color. And I'll come around and check rainbow cards and see who needs that color. Okay? All right. Let's um, clean off our brush. Swish, 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 swish. Slide, slide. Get some of that paint on our brush. And then anything you want to be this color, let's go ahead and paint the first layer of it. Um, and also, we don't need to glaze the inside of our totem pole, okay? Just the outside. We don't really have time to do the inside. Okay, probably done now with the first layer of that color. So let's go ahead and do the second layer for that color.
Okay, and remember, if you're doing layers that are way too thick, then they're not going to dry. And you need them to dry so that you can do another layer. So make sure you're really spread spreading out the glaze and it's not like big, thick pools, okay? So that's our second layer of our second color. So let's do our third layer of this second color, and then we'll get to change colors again. All right, it is time to get our third color out. So put your paintbrush in the water, twist this color closed, put it back on the red tray, and then let's look at our color options. Okay, so here's these. Um, so, over a little. Okay, so for my, um, this was my owl, I might do a, I'll do a little white mouse. So I'm going to get the white out, shake it, open it up. You guys know the drill by now. If it's not okay, if it's not ready to go, try to shake it up again. If it is ready to go, uh, or if, if you, that doesn't work, order some more white or whatever color you need and then I will say every time excuse me every time you open these you're probably getting a little bit of the glaze dust on the table so if you guys would do me a favor and just put all the glaze dust in like a little section at the end of your table and then I'll come up with the wipe and I'll wipe it away so we keep our tables clean okay um yeah and also just of course like always try to keep the tables clean um I'll come around with a wipe and if you if you get a little glaze on the table it's okay accidents are okay um but yeah just put all the like little dust in a little section like this and then it's easier for me to clean your tables for you while you work okay okay so let's go ahead and clean our brush swish 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 slide slide and if you need to get a br another brush you know that you can clean your brush put it back in the blue cup with the hair going up and if you need to grab a different brush you can you're allowed to switch brushes Okay, and that's fine. Okay, so then let's go ahead and work with our third color here. Okay, so see what I just did? And I thought I was, I thought I was holding my totem pole to hold, like, and I was changing it so I could, but I got glaze on my table. So like I said, mistakes are okay if that happens. Just raise your hand or turn your card red and I'll come with a paper towel. Um, and I'll clean that up for you. Okay, so don't worry if it's just a little bit, if it's just an accident. I will clean it up for you. Okay, let's go ahead and work with our third color.
Okay, we can go ahead and do our second layer of this color. Just so you guys know, you don't want to leave any parts of the totem pole blank, except for the inside and the bottom, of course, like we talked about. But other than that, everything that's wrapping around on the outside, you want to have it glazed, okay? Um, if you don't want it to have a color, then just do it, do it with this white glaze here. So it'll be white, but you have to glaze every single part or else it won't look right. It will look really weird because most of it will be shiny and then there'll be non-shiny parts and people will be like, oh, you missed a spot. Like if you've ever cleaned a window and you're like, oh, nice. And then you look back and then there's a blurry spot. It's like, oh, I missed a spot and it doesn't, it's like weird, right? You're like, oh, I got to fix that because it's kind of obnoxious. Like you'll be annoyed with your art project if you don't fill in all the little spaces. Okay. So all these like little tiny spots that are hard to get into, you're allowed to kind of poke. You can poke your brush a little bit um, when we're glazing because I just want you guys to like your artwork and I know that it's they look really weird if uh, you don't fill in all the little spots, okay? All right. Okay, so we're on the third layer of this color. We're gonna do this and then we'll switch colors again. All right, you guys can go ahead and put that brush in the water. So I don't know if you've noticed, but there's this thing. Um, I, okay, so I've started with my biggest areas and then I went to my medium areas. I'm still working on medium and then I'm gonna do small. So there's this thing in art where we work large to small. Okay, so working on our largest areas, then our medium areas, and then our small details slash deep, small areas slash details, okay? So just so you know. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and put the cap on this. All right, twist this up. Put it back in the middle and then, yeah, get out um, another color. Let's see, I think I'll have my bear be a blue bear. And I can, I'll get the um, color chart back up to help you guys decide what color you want. Um, this is the Tahiti Blue, and I'll show you guys. This one gets really watery, so I can show you what it looks like when it's watery. And again, all this like little dust is getting on the table. I'm just going to wipe it to the side. There we go. Um, so see how it's really watery right there? You can just close it back up and shake it, right? Close it really good. And shake it. And if it's still, if you still feel like it doesn't look right, um, Order a new color. Order it. Order the color, and I'll get you a fresh cut. And I know a lot of times you guys are gonna want me to check to make sure it looks good because you're not sure. Well, you guys know that if you ever want me to check your work, you can turn it to the this yellow one, the brighter yellow one that says, "Will you please check my work?" So don't forget about that little thing. If you ever want me to check it, make sure you're doing it right. Because you're a little unsure, I'm happy to do that. Okay, so that looks a lot better now. Getting all my glaze dust out of here to a little pile. Okay. So this one should be 
more like this, I think, when it's done. I believe. We'll find out. All right. Um, whoop. Okay, so swish, swish, swish your water or your brush. And then slide, slide. And let's get to it. Okay, second layer. Actually, Okay, second layer. Okay, time for the third layer. Okay, time to put that brush away. So it should almost be done by now, just some little spots left. Okay, so you got your next color. Okay, clean your brush. Here we go.
All right, you guys, let's go ahead and clean up. So make sure all of the glaze is closed and on the red tray. And then we need to get our paintbrushes put away, okay? So if there's any paintbrushes in the water, swish them, slide them, stick them back in the blue cup with the hair going up, okay? Swish them, slide them, blue cup, hair going up. Swish them, slide them, blue cup, hair going up. Put the blue cup in the water back in the um, clear tray in the middle of your table. And I'll dismiss you guys to go wash your hands. All right. Awesome job. See you later.